assalamu alaikum friends in this video we are going to talk about tax group under uae vat law what is the meaning of tax group how we can form it and who can form it and uh, what are the benefits of the tax group mainly benefits of the tax group is that they will treat you as a single company of all your group of companies a single taxable person actually eh? uh, what are the benefits main benefits there assume in your one of company there is a huge input tax credit coming you are purchasing huge there and your sale is export sales mainly and your output liability is nothing your tax is uh, getting collected there and in another another of your group company there is a huge retail sales huge sales you you have huge output tax liabilities but you have in comparison to that you have less input tax credit okay in the tax group what will happen you have to pay net of your group liabilities what will come after merging all the group returns group companies returns and you will have to file only single returns there okay let's come to the definition what is the definition of tax group and in the ue vat law they say two or more person registered with the authority fta for the tax purpose as a single taxable person you have to file only one tax return in accordance with the provisions of the decree law now in this video we will basically talk about article 9 uh, related parties okay who are the related parties in cabinet dc number 52 2017 what they say for the purpose of the tax group provisions the definition of related party shall relate to any two legal person they are talking about legal person they are not talking about individuals sole establishment like any human being they are talking about legal person only a two legal person can form a tax group only a mainly two co companies can form a tax group one person or more acting in a partnership and having any of the following if any of uh, any of one condition out of these three is fulfilled then they can form tax group voting interest in each of those legal person of 50% or more like one shareholder is there who has invested invested 60% in company a uh, like uh, 55% in company b and 70% in company c these three companies can form a tax group because there is a one shareholder who is holding more than 55 50% uh, in this all those three companies the, there can be one single shareholder there can be multiple shareholders but a limit is there 50% should be hold by common shareholders okay and uh, second point is that market value interest in each of those legal person of 50% or more equity invested in the company or any other investment interest they are talking about is 50% or more in the all those legal persons and control of each of those legal person by any other mean what it control what is the meaning of control control has uh, there is ifrs which is describing control main thing we can say the significant influential power any person is holding in all the companies like he is a chairman he is a md like this position he is holding then we can say he is controlling and for detailed definition we have to see ifrs and in point number b they say each of the person is a related party with the third person like abc company is related with def llc and abc company is also related with xyz company in that case def and xyz will also be treated as a related parties now clause 1 end now we have to we have come to the clause number 2 if all clause number 1 is not satisfied then we will come to the clause number 2 what clause number 2 says two or more person shall be considered related parties if they are associated in economic financial regulatory aspect taking into account the following they have to be related in all these things 
they have to satisfy economic also they have to satisfy financial also they have to satisfy regulatory aspects also now what is the meaning of economic aspects they have to, for economic aspect they have to satisfy any one of these three conditions they are achieving a common commercial objective doing of business their meaning is they are they are doing for achieving common business common commercial objective one person business benefiting another person business in the form of bulk purchasing bulk sale customers like this it can be happen one person business is benefiting another person business point number 3 they are saying supply of goods or services by different businesses to a same customer customer they are supplying goods from company abc company def company other any company to the same customer their clientele is same but they are doing rotating sales through another companies any one condition is satisfied then economic condition is satisfied now come to the next condition is financial practices at least one of the following should be fulfilled uh, first point is financial support given by one person business to another person business if one business is running and profitable and another business is not running profitable the profitable business is supporting the other business or any other sense whether it's a profitable or not profitable this this does not matter thing is that they are giving financial support to each other company point number 2 one person business not being financially viable without another person business if abc company is not there then there is second company let's assume xyz company will not financially viable like abc company doing some cheap work purchasing and giving to the xyz company like this can be happen and point number third is common financial interest in the proceed they have common financial interest what it mean it mean they are doing for some same purpose same motive they are doing business now come to the last point regulatory aspect which shall include any of the following common management there should be a common management any one it fulfilled then a regulatory aspect they fulfilling common management common employees whether or not jointly employed common management common employees and common shareholders or economic ownership if they are satisfying any one of those these three then regulatory aspect is complete here we come to the end where i am giving to the crux of this video first of all we there is a clause one which is saying two person shall be if any one of these condition is satisfying if any one of these condition is satisfying then case is over here then they can form a group companies if all those things are not satisfied then we will go to point number b like they are related through third person if this condition is also not satisfied then we will go to the point number 2 clause 2 here we have to fulfill th- all the three conditions economic financial regulatory and all the condition has three three other aspects out of those only one condition should be satisfied then they can form a group group companies tax group they can form and with this there is a lots of benefits also there demerits also there it's you have to analyze your case for any professional advice for any business advice you can contact me in through my whatsapp number or this number you can call me i hope this video give you little knowledge this uh, i last once again i i uh, say to you all please like share and subscribe my channel thank you everyone